<laughs> Ram, gay. We in this in this thing. I say uh, Ram, uh, gay. We in this in this thing. I say uh, Ram, uh, gay. We in this in this thing. I say uh, Ram, uh, gay. We in this in this thing. I say up. Uh, what you doing here? If you ain't looking for no Aries. We stay turned up, we be talking about them Aries. Gang, gang, crank up, turn up for them Aries. We stay turned up, we be talking about them Aries. Gang, gang, what's popping? Don't cut me, okay? I know y'all mad at the kid. Y'all, I'm sorry. The month of May has been really fucking lit. If you, you, you the type of Aries, I'm the type of Aries ass, damn it. Then you had some shit going on. Plus, you've been trying to get to your shmoney. <laughs> hey boo hey first time viewing my channel what's popping I'm Mocha also if this is your first time viewing my channel look out y'all I cuss make cuss a little make cuss a lot just depending on what the hell these cards say oh but I'm a cuss so if cussing does not work for you please feel free to find another beautiful reader here on YouTube that can further assist you without cussing because neither way I'm set up y'all I'm gonna do that okay because the new subscribers welcome to the family y'all we're a dysfunctional we don't fight and fuss we leave that shit on other people's channel but we do cuss, we grow, we love, we share, we laugh, we enlighten, poly vibes only over here. Returning family members, what's up, baby? What's up, Amalia? Tell y'all got going on. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> Thank you in advance for all the likes, the shares, the subscribes, the comments, y'all. It truly means a lot to me. Thank you. I appreciate it from the most humblest space. If you need a personal reading, that information can be found within the description. This is a general message. It ain't going to resonate with everybody. If that motherfucker shoe is too big, don't try to make that motherfucker fit. You're going to fall. Okay? So take what resonates and leave the rest. I currently have a reading special going on. I actually was going to end it on the 26th. Today is um, my baby's birthday. Well, the 28th is my baby's birthday. So not doing the readings on that day. But up until the 31st, I currently um, have a sale that can be found within the community tab. Go check that shit. I was finna tell you, but no, I'll make that shit for nothing. Go check it out. All right. So let's get it. Without further ado, this will be for my Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, as well as the Cross Watchers for the sign of Aries. All right. Mid last in late May check in. So we're gonna start with your intuitive messages for the latter half of May for Aries. What I got for you guys was standing in your power, innovator. Moon cycles, rapid manifesting, control, limitations, life path, deja vu, life purpose, envy, evil eye, removing yourself, spiritually protected, death, trusting dreams, foresight, truce, harvest time, telepathy, partnership, attraction, Rapid elevation and unexpected blessings come. I receive all that shit. I'm going to be an Aries all the month of May. Okay, how about that? <laughs> all right, so those intuitive messages definitely did uh, resonate with you. This is your message. Let's talk about it. All right. All right, so the first message that you guys got, your angel message for the month, is Crystal Clear Intentions by Archangel Michael. Says, be clear about what you desire and focus upon it with unwavering faith. So, Aries, the energy that I get with this, for the most part, a lot of you all may be in this energy of really actively using your damn throat chakra, speaking up for yourself, not allowing yourself to settle for the things that you may kind of look back at later and just be like, what the fuck was I thinking? Like, did I, I said yes to this shit? Okay, so don't be your own worst enemy when it comes to the settling factor. Only keep your eyes on the focus. If you don't lose the mo, if you, if you if you only can see the focus, then you will never lose your foresight on how to get there. Okay. For some of you all, some of y'all also may be receiving some type of communication when it comes to some type some type of entrepreneurship of some sort. You're needing to stay receptive. Okay. Stay receptive. Stay open during this time. And a lot of you all have. You're not meeting anyone by chance. It is faded meetings that you guys are having. Some of you guys also may be in the energy of questioning, like kind of re-examining partnerships and collaborations with other people. I definitely feel like it has more so of the how has to do with the with the value structure of things. Some of y'all are just really kind of kind of coming to terms that you have irresponsible people in the midst 
of your of your dreams when it comes to you actually building upon what it is that you plan for your structure okay your stability your legacy and it's about you kind of being real some of you guys there's a need for you all to trust your dream space especially the information that you're going to be receiving or that you have been receiving within these moon cycles okay the next message that i got for you all was clear sentience archangel ragio notice your recurring physical emotion what notice your recurring physical and emotional feelings as they signify divine guidance okay so some of you all are going to be in this space again of receptivity acceptance okay some of you all are going to be inheriting some type of new spiritual ability you need to really really protect your energy ground yourself and really kind of how can i put it stay 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 tuned in to your own energy so that you can actually differentiate the difference when you're feeling your energy and you're feeling someone else's some of you all are empaths and there's a need for you one there's a need for you all to move towards your life purpose some of you all may want to be bloggers some of you all are healers some of you all are spiritual teachers but you just really don't know which way it's like you know you're sure of your movement but as far as the direction you're not 100 percent sure so there's a need for you all to strategize okay stay focused foresight aries stay focused on the fucking prize period okay the last message that you guys got comes from Archangel Michael. You are safe. I'm protecting you against lower energies and guarding you, your loved ones, and your home. Okay, so for some of you all, you may be in this space of um, kind of being aware or being revealed to you that people have been either sending out some type of spiritual attack. Some people subconsciously can just look at you with the damn envy eye, okay, with the damn look at you in this green with envy way some people you gotta understand Aries is really about perception too because I've had to learn this in my own life some folks it's really not that they hate you it's the fact that they admire they admire you standing in your truth and your authenticity so much that it really kind of makes them question their own damn lives so for some of you all it's really kind of stepping back and reevaluating the difference during this time some of you all are being spiritually protected by your ancestors. You may be finding white feathers during this time. Some of you guys are also, um, some of y'all have some type of sacral chakra activation that's going to be taking space. So some of you all may be a bit overly active. There's a need for you to center that energy, okay? Some of you all may be experiencing some type of heart chakra union, okay? Some of y'all could have recently met someone new who could have came in and actually stirred your heart chakra. There's a need for you guys to stay receptive. Y'all, let me go ahead and explain this. I'm a bit insecure about this nail. Y'all know mocha nails be popping. I slammed my nail in the dough yesterday, moving too damn fast. Just broke my damn unicorn, moving too damn fast. So if you're anything like mocha, slow down, okay? So you don't be breaking shit and breaking nails and losing shit. <laughs> That's the advice I have spiritually for you guys for the month of May. So let's get into your love. All right. So just know that your endeavors, your endeavors, your goals, your aspirations, your movement, okay, your journey is protected. One second. Y'all ah, know shit get the following now. <laughs> Angels, what messages do you have for my beautiful Aries and love? From now until the end of May, the later half of May, what messages do you have for my beautiful Aryans and love? What can they expect? So some of you guys may be dealing with people or situationships. I say situationships because spirit is saying not solid. So some of y'all may be dealing with situationships, people, places, things from your past, okay? For some of you all, you're going through some type of past life association. All right, for some of you all... Some of y'all could actually be on the brink of something brand new from someone with, with someone from your past. This person could be a water sign, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Some of you all are starting new with a particular now <laughs> person, place, a thing, and it looks to be very abundant in your life during this time. Okay, for some of you all, this could have been you actually going back to some type of some type of dream or something that you wanted to do when you were a child or something that maybe you would kind of put aside. Some of you all are revisiting some of your creative ideas and it's paying off for you in a massive way during this time. It's about divine timing, baby. Some of you all also possibly could have walked away from some type of job in the month of May, early May, or this could have also been in the month of um, April. 
Some of you guys, some of y'all are moving. Some of you guys are getting news during this time regarding new opportunities, possibly in a different state. Okay. For some of you all, you're moving steadfast into a relationship or you're moving into this place of harmony and stability. Possibly some of y'all, <laughs> if you do not want to have babies, okay. If you ain't out here trying to be um, buying diapers and shit right now, slow your ass down, okay? Some of y'all could be finding out that you are um, pregnant during this time or there is this energy of fertility, okay? For some of you all, this is about the birth of your, the birth of the things that you've been trying to manifest, okay? So Aries, it is harvest time that I'm feeling. Some of y'all could actually be moving um, into a union or into something solid, possibly with an earth sign, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. Some of you guys could be also dealing with the sign of cancer. And some of you all could be finding out that you asked and got pregnant dealing with somebody who you possibly had an in and out relationship with that is getting ready to transmute into this Ace of Cups, okay? So for some of you guys who was not looking for a relationship, love is inevitable for your ass. And if you do not want to be pregnant, Watch how you're moving. Slow your ass down, Aries, okay? For some of you all, some of you guys could be in this place of solitude, not wanting to open up, not wanting to be vulnerable with your emotions. You're still in this place of healing. You're just focused on this money at this time, okay? For some of you all, some of y'all is going to have some type of new beginning in love that kind of comes and stirs you up very fast. For some of y'all, this could involve a fire sign like yourself, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. I definitely feel like because you guys are focused on the practical matters, you focus on things that can only offer your life solidity and growth. For some of you all, with this justice being in the upright card, okay, you're moving towards your good karma, okay? For some of you all, you are, you guys are closing out past life soul contracts and moving toward, and you're on the right path of your journey. For those of you who could have separated yourself possibly from some type of marriage or some type of... um partnership with someone due to sneaky and deceptive motherfuckers thinking they slick, okay? They just slick as damn all. Just know that justice is in your favor, okay? There will be some type of communication that you will be receiving or that you have received during this time. And I feel like it's going to kind of weigh and boggle on your thoughts for, it's really going to boggle on your damn thoughts. And it's only going to boggle on your thoughts if you're looking at it from a space of the past. There is something that is coming in to trigger you during this time, Aries, for you to, to surface those emotions, to make you face them. You got to be friends with the, mon with the monster up under your bed or you forever give the lower vibrational energies that power over your damn life to stir you up in any kind of way. You are Aries, the boss. You're the biggest boss you've been seen thus far. Nobody has that damn power, okay? Don't give it to them any damn way. For some of you all, in the month of June, you will be moving into some type of unionship with the soulmate. Some of y'all, this could be the sign of Gemini, but I definitely see Aries going into new cycles of their life. So if you were just dating someone, then your relationship could be evolving into um, some type of higher commitment. So some of you guys could be getting engaged during this time. Congratulations. Some of you guys are welcoming in new babies. Some of you all have the energy of like some type of financial windfall on you. So for those of you who are worrying about, well, I want to start this business, but I don't have the money for this. I don't have the money for this. Only see strategy and only see what you do have. Be grateful for everything and be grateful for the whole damn process. But only see before you the positive aspects of how you can build, how you can grow. It's easy to look at the negative shit. Understand that God going to do God's job. So that's not your part to worry about that. It's only your part to piece together the things that are within your control. Everything else around that shit, you got to balance your fuck series. Okay. Do you got the energy to give a fuck about that? And if you give a fuck about that particular that particular circumstance, will it affect this? Will it affect all of the work that you've done over here? Will you not be able to see it or acknowledge it because you focus on some shit that you can't change? Can God have God's job back, Ram Gang? Okay. For some of you all, this is about wanting to start something new. Possibly with someone from your past. This could be a fire sign. For some of y'all, this could be a new person. However, you're still holding on to past memories, past cycles. You're still holding on to. And some of y'all, there's a need for you not to make somebody else guilty for your past crime. This is why you're really needing to take that time in solitude to truly heal Aries. There's a need for you guys not to move so fast, even when it comes to relationships. What have you done in the past? How has that worked for you? How can we transmute that to 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 receive a different result, okay? You can't keep doing the same shit and expecting a different result. That's a form of insanity, okay?
We ain't doing that. Spirit, why is this Ace of Pentacles here with the Chariot card? Yeah, for some of you all, this is about someone wanting to come in. This could be someone who you have a family with, okay, already. This is about someone wanting to come in and hold the relationship together. They don't want to lose you, Aries. Some of y'all, this could definitely be Capricorn towards Virgo. For some of you all, this could also be the sign of Cancer. Why is this Ace of Cups here with the lovers? Yeah. And for some of you all, you have manifested a relationship where there is equal give and take. Okay, this person doesn't have to be a Gemini. But I definitely see for those of you who had issues and partnerships in the past where you feel as if you were the only one putting in the work, Spirit is saying, I'm giving you I'm giving you something better. Okay? So you just have to trust the process. You have to trust the process because Aries, you're going into a whole new cycle of your life, outcome being the king of wands. You're standing in your motherfucking power, okay? Why is the Virgo? I'm gonna say why is the Virgo? Some of y'all could definitely be dealing with a Virgo. Why is the Hermit card here? Yeah, for some of you all, you could be separated from a damn Virgo due to this person being a bit deceptive. Some of you guys are in this energy during this time. You're not dealing with the bullshit. You got your soul ready and up and ready and waiting. Why is the World card here for Aries? Yes. So for those of you who have been single for quite some time, you are moving into a space where you're going to have many, many, many options. There's a need for you guys to assess, ask the right questions. Do not move impulsively. Make sure that people have the same intentions that you have. They have the same desires that you have. Ask questions, Aries. Trust your intuition as well. Why is the justice card here? Yeah. For some of you all... This has to do with some type of family matters, okay? So for some, those of you who have been waiting to hear some type of um, some type of decision or some type of um, either some type of decision or some type of like outcome of some type of court court tie, assets, child support, divorce, I am seeing that you guys are going to be hearing hearing that information here, okay? You're going to be getting some type of information that is going to move you into this space of feeling abundant, feeling financially secure. For those of you who were not receiving help from either your child's mother or your child's father and you guys have some type of pending court case, I do see going into the month of June, we're going to be wrapping that shit up so the Aries can move on with their damn lives and go be happy, okay? Why is the King of Wands here? Well, no. Why is the Nine of Wands here? Some of y'all could be dealing with the sign of Sagittarius. Nine of Wands here. Yeah, and for some of you guys, this has to do with the past life, or this could be someone from your past. I definitely feel that for some of you, there is love still there with this person. However, there's a sense of defensiveness because there's a, there, it's, it's a need for someone to speak some type of truth or for some type of clarity to be had. Because I feel like the relationship was either left in a toxic place, or maybe you guys had this had like a toxic ending that you are that you guys are building upon. Okay. Some of y'all could also be dealing with the sign of Capricorn, okay? And some of you guys are just focused on moving forward. You're not dealing with situations that are going to make you feel stuck. You're not dealing with manipulative people. You're not dealing with circumstances where motherfuckers don't want to get out their own damn way to be great. Aries is focused on fulfillment and fulfillment you shall have. Some of you guys possibly are dealing with the Capricorn person who wants to come in. They want to start over. They want to put in the work, Aries. They know where they fucked up at. However, there's a sense of, I'm hearing ego death. So there needs to be some type of ego death in order for things to prosper, okay? So, ugh. so for the most part, you guys, the focus I see here is going to be on fulfillment, protecting, as well as strategically building the damn coin, some of you guys, there is positive news coming about moving. So for those of you who have been waiting to move, especially if you're moving out of the state, there is positive news that is coming about that move. And for some of you, y'all, some of y'all, you are going to have some type of financial assistance in order to do so. Okay. So this is what I have for my beautiful Aryans between now and the end of May. I will be back live for the month of June to do your readings. If you need a personal, that information can be found within the description, y'all. I love you so very much. Peace, love, many blessings, and namaste. I'll see y'all next month, y'all.